Hey guys, what's up? Sam here, back with another video. Now today, March 7, 2018, Google released Android P previews, all right? These are the factory images for the Android P preview. As for what Android P is, guys, I have no clue. My guess is Popsicle, but I am pretty much always wrong when it comes to this. But yeah, it's Android P, it's out, and you guys know me, I just can't wait. Once something is out and it's fresh, I just have to have it. I didn't even get the March 5th update as yet, but I'm just gonna bypass that and go straight to Android P. Alright, so in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to install Android P on your Pixel 2, Pixel 2 XL, or Pixel XL, or Pixel, the OG ones, alright? So yeah, guys, let's go ahead and I'll show you the new stuff that are in the brand new uh, Android P and you know, I'll do further videos as I go along if there's any bugs or any new additions stuff like that But yeah guys enough chatting. Let's jump into this now The first thing you need to do to install Android P on your pixel 2 or pixel 2 XL is to go ahead and unlock the bootloader All right, so Just make sure that in settings under system going to developer options Make sure that OEM unlocking is turned on as well as USB debugging. All right, we're gonna go ahead, turn off the device, and boot into the fast boot mode, all right? Now, the first thing you need to do to install Android P on your Pixel 2 device is to boot into the fast boot mode and make sure that your bootloader is unlocked. As you can see right here, my bootloader, it says it's locked because I forgot to unlock it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and unlock that real quick. It's gonna wipe the phone, so if you have anything you need to save or back up, definitely do that from before. Back it up, make sure it's safe and then proceed to this step, all right? So it's gonna wipe everything, and we're gonna come back and manually flash the factory images for Android P. Really pumped, guys. Let's jump into it. So you need to make sure it's connected to the computer, and just open up a file manager wherever. Hold on on Shift, right click, and click on Open PowerShell or Open Command Window. Just open a command window, type in Fastboot Devices, click Enter, now you should see the serial number right there along with the word fast boot, all right? Now I do have another video that I went in depth showing you how to unlock the bootloader and root the Pixel 2 or Pixel 2 XL. So you can check that out if you're interested, all right? So let's go ahead and type in fast boot flashing, unlock, click on enter. Now right here you should see unlock the bootloader or do not unlock. Just use the volume buttons to select. So let's go up with the volume up button and click on the power button to select that one. So click power button right now. Now once you see this unlocked padlock right here, that means you have an unlocked bootloader. So you're pretty much good to go. And it's gonna boot up. Now the first boot might take some while because you have erased everything and you're gonna start from scratch. So just be patient, all right guys? So I'm just gonna let it do its thing and just come back once it's up, all right? All right, now once we're back in the fast boot mode, what I went ahead and did was download the latest uh, ADB and fast boot files. I'll put a link to that in the description box down below, but I went ahead, downloaded that, extracted it, and placed everything in one folder, all right? And that folder is the factory image that I already went ahead and downloaded from Google. All right, so it's gonna go ahead and double click on this flash dash all dot bat file. I'm gonna go through a bunch of different steps. It's gonna reboot a couple times the bootloader that is. Now it is gonna take a while to do this, so just be patient and go get a snack, come back and wait for it to do its thing while you get ready for Android P, all right? All right guys, so this took me a very, very long time to do. I've had so many problems. And basically when I checked it out online, it says that there's a bunch of problems going around with trying to flash uh, factory images to some of these Pixel and Pixel 2. It was, it was a lot, but um, you might not have that problem with flashing yours and I'll put a link in the description as to how to flash it. Basically, once you download the factory image, you can just double click on the flash all bat. If that doesn't work, there is a pretty cool script that some guy uh, pretty much formulated and how you go about doing that is you just extract everything into one folder. So you download the Google factory images extract that extract the other zip everything should be in one folder so it's going to be like one folder with just a bunch of files and then you're going to just copy his uh script in there double click on that and it should work all right 
now let's see if it actually works here i'm not 100 percent sure if it's gonna work but we're gonna find out actually i'm so excited let me just go ahead and skip everything as ooh, it actually looks different it looks different from how i had it before right here it was not like that before so i do think this is android p guys let's just go ahead and click next i'll set this up another time but i just want to go ahead and skip through everything right here it does look a bit different i will not lie oh <gasps> guys guys oh my let me shout this guy out right now this guy is a genius his name is deuces on xda oh my gosh you are a lifesaver deuces you are a lifesaver this script that you made hands down it works perfectly because with the new pixel 2 and pixel 2 xl they're doing this thing where they have like separate partitions so basically your phone system is divided into two and the factory images is supposed to be flashed on both sides i'm not even sure if this is correct but it's pretty much said side a and side b and i'm not sure if i was doing it the right way or i wasn't flashing it on the right partition or what i couldn't figure this out for the life of me but this one script worked flawlessly i even tried to flash the march version of android 8.1.0 and that wasn't working at all i had to use this script so whatever you wrote in that script guy you are a freaking genius anyways guys so we are on the android p right off the bat you can see everything is different the notification here the pixel setup and right off the top you can see the difference and it does say p android system so right off the bat you can see the notification shade is different the quick tiles are different as well the icon shape and everything is different it kind of reminds me of samsung like i think it was like their lollipop version or something but this kind of reminds me of that there is no uh, horizontal paginated swipe in the quick settings menu. As you can see, you swipe it over, there's nothing there. Uh, Android beta program, let's just go hold on on that. And it brings up this little about section here with your phone number, the IME, stuff like that. Pretty cool. Android version P. Tap it on that, it brings up the security patch level, what version of Android you're on baseband, build number, stuff like that, etc. All right, uh, let's go into the settings. Now, normally if you swipe down once, you would see the settings uh, button right here to just go into the settings menu, but it's not there. You have to go down once more and take on that. So a revamp of the settings menu as well, guys. As you can see, it's pretty clean and it's pretty colorful. I don't think they had these little colors for the little categories before it was like gray or something like that so now they have different colors for each little category so what else can we see well, Ooh, that animation though let's go back Ooh, that animation though i hope you guys saw that that's freaking dope now it has some really slight animations but it just it really catches your eye and it's like I see, I see what you did there. I see Google. But uh, I'm trying to find the Easter egg. <gasps> oh, here it is. Hey, ooh, <laughs> that's trippy. That, is, oh, oh guys, look at this. All right, so if you turn the phone in a landscape mode like so, you actually have this little icon here to turn it. Ooh oh that's kind of trippy it's not perfectly centered as you can see here it should be a little bit more over but let's go back and do that auto rotate once more it's pretty cool i think it's gonna be popsicle but again i'm always wrong so i don't know now if you turn it off and turn it back on the colors change so that's pretty cool all right guys, so another new feature that I just saw on the lock screen. I'm not sure if you guys are gonna see this right here. All right guys, so right here, you can see 
the battery percentage is on the lock screen right at the very bottom so that is pretty cool that's pretty um, convenient and I do like that feature the time is actually over here on the left hand side instead of the right as before all right now if you hold on, on the power button you actually have an option for a screenshot now this is very common something we've seen before in many custom roms and other versions or other skins of android i think it's on like lg or samsung don't quote me on that but i've seen it before on other devices so it's about time google all right let's go ahead and take a screenshot let's see Ooh, pretty fast pretty nice and we can share or edit let's go ahead and edit it Ooh. It's new. There's something new here. It's called markup. Now I do believe this is ah oh, a way to ah oh, finally Google finally now you're able to edit screenshots. This is pretty dope. So you can use a pen, a highlighter, undo button, different colors. This is cool, Google. Now if there was a way for us to make the pen thicker, that'd be cool. But you know, you can crop it, that's nice. Uh, I'm not really seeing how to... Oh! Alright, so we kind of found a bug. I think it's a bug, I don't know. But you can't... I'm not able to see the other end here to crop up. So how I can crop down like that. I'm not seeing the other part here. To adjust that, so... Uh, while this is pretty cool, this needs some work. And I take screenshots a lot, so this will be really cool for me. Alright, now another feature here, which is really, really intuitive. If you hold on, on the volume uh, up or down, you get these uh, dials here. You can change the media output, so if it's a Bluetooth, you can change it up there. Alright, and you can just uh, raise and lower the volume on the fly. You can silence your calls just like that with a tap of a button also here you can change your calls from vibrate mute or ring that's also dope so i'm loving this guys i am loving the changes android p i'm loving it now i did hear that there is a support for hdr so that's pretty cool very interesting and um, also there's gonna be encrypted backups, so that's also pretty cool as well. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people will be looking forward to stuff like that. Now there are other features that are added under the hood, stuff that we can't really see that's been implemented that I really don't know much about, but I'll put information and links, stuff like that, in the description box down below. Let's go into the settings once more and see what else we can find. Okay, this is nice. In the battery settings here, it says if your battery is in good shape or not so this is pretty good i remember on my nexus 6p the battery life was kind of going so maybe if your battery is going this will be able to tell you you know if it's in good shape or not so that's pretty cool it says apps are behaving normally very good to know if you have a very you know crazy app that's you know causing a lot of battery drain then this is where you're gonna find all that information uh yeah guys i think this is it if i have missed anything let me know in the comment sections down below this has been a long night trying to flash this android p on my device but it was worth it and yeah i will be doing more videos in the future on android p if there are any updates what are the bugs features added stuff like that i'll definitely let you guys know with each new update all right so if you haven't subscribed already guys definitely go ahead and subscribe for more content on android p and a bunch more other tech related videos all right as always guys thank you so much for watching my name is the coin and i'll catch you guys in the next video see you